Hey everybody, it's Josie. Welcome back to Cedar Creek Homestead. Well, this is a busy, busy Monday as usual on the farm and we're working. We've got lots of projects and one of the things that we're doing is getting the spare bedroom converted over to a nursery for little Howie. And there's a lot of work to be done. I've got lots of things that I'm moving out to storage so that the kids can set up the nursery the way that they, that they want to for the baby and uh, time is marching on. He'll be here in sometime in December and uh, uh, Cheyenne is, is not able to do as much of the heavy stuff because she's still supposed to be kind of taking it easy and watching things and uh, Blade is, is doing as much as he can but um, his business is really taking off and we're blessed by that. I'm thankful that, um, that he's been uh, able to follow in his daddy's footsteps and the business will be his. It won't be exactly like what Howie had, but I'm thankful that um, we live in a community that is uh, is is loyal and that they are um, using Blade for these services. And so he's busy a lot. And then, of course, I have obligations for the farm. So we're just, you know, life just like everybody else. We're busy and we have lots of projects going. And so today I'm going to make a really simple crock pot meal that can cook uh, right along, uh, slow cook right along while we're doing all of our other projects and we won't have to keep checking in on it and uh, keeping, uh, I may actually keep it from burning by putting it here in the crock pot. And it's simply a um, potato, cheese, and ham casserole. Now, there's a few options that you can do. Um, it calls for onions. By all means, if you have people in your family that don't like onions, you don't have to put onions in it. Um, it's very mild on any kind of seasonings, uh, salt and pepper uh, to your taste. And, um, I'm using diced ham today because I have a package of diced ham that needs to be used. But the recipe also calls for sausage like, you know, the smoked sausage or the kibbasas. Uh You can use those and dice those up um, and you can use those instead. The other option you have, um, I had shredded hash browns today. Um, I think that the cubed, the little tiny cubes of, of hash browns would um, be equally good. Um, but I'm using what I have on hand, and we all need to be doing that right now, getting in those freezers and getting in our pantries and using up some of the ingredients that need to be cycled through, making something good. And it was chilly this morning. The kids like to sleep uh, with the air conditioner, and they like it cool. I like things cool, but I have found that uh, as I get older, I don't get as hot in the, in the nighttime. And I woke up this morning and put my... Um, fuzzy house slippers on and even had on a little jacket in here while I was doing some of my morning work. So I guarantee this afternoon I'll get plenty warm uh, doing projects and getting things moved around. And uh, so let's get started on this recipe. I hope you guys enjoy it. You're going to need a crock pot of course and uh, I'm going to uh, set mine on low for six hours. That'll give me plenty of time to uh, work and do chores while it's going. But if you have less time you can certainly put it on high and um, you, you know you might have to to watch it a little bit closer during that time um, and it'll cut your cooking time but I'm gonna put it on low today the first ingredient we have is our hash browns now this is 32 ounces of frozen shredded hash browns and like I told you you could use the small uh, like the country hash browns I even think that you could probably get away with even tater tots if tater tots is what you had in your freezer and so I'm simply just going to dump those right in to the crock pot the slow cooker whatever you want to call it now the next ingredient that I am going to add is one can of cream of chicken soup. Now you can use the store brand, you can use the name brand, and you most certainly can use your homemade uh, cream of soups. And I still need to do that and get that up on my shelf uh, just to have backup in case I can't get cans of cream of chicken or cream of mushroom or whatever it is. I'm not a real big fan of cream of mushroom. I do like golden mushroom uh, with pork chops. But anyway, 
um, I need to make that and maybe do a video on it for you guys if you'd like to see the uh, the cream of that you can put on your shelf as a mix and then bring it together when you're when you need it for a recipe so one can cream of chicken Next, I'm going to put one small onion. Now, this is where I told you that you can definitely change the recipe by leaving the, the onion out. It's totally up to you. If your family doesn't like it, by all means, leave it out. I would assume that you could add a vegetable if you wanted to. Um, I would imagine it. Somebody might think that peas would taste good, although I don't know why. But, uh, <laughs> you know how I feel about peas. But anyway, okay. So I have this package of diced ham. The recipe calls for 14 ounces, but I need to go ahead and get this package juice. This is a 16 ounce package of small diced ham. And I'm going to use the whole thing. It does call for 14 ounces of ham or sausage, the kibasa sausage, cut into little bitty pieces. And I'm just simply going to just dump this whole uh, package of ham in there. And uh, I'll show you in case you haven't ever seen this before. Um, I like to use this with my black eyed peas or um, with omelets. I'll show you. It's just little bitty dices like this. And you most certainly could get your own hand and chop it up to the, uh, the size of pieces that you want. So I'm going to dump that right in there. And uh, I'm going to begin to get it mixed around just a little bit. Now this ham has got salt with to it of course so I am NOT going to salt this until the end when we're ready to eat it and let everybody salt to their taste I watch my salt Cheyenne is supposed to be watching her salt and so uh, um, we'll salt and pepper when we when we go to eat it now this is two and a half cups of shredded cheese you can use any kind of cheese you wanted you can use um, American cheese, you can use the uh, Fiesta cheese, you can use, uh, if you buy grated cheese, cheese already grated up, you can do that. You can grade your own cheese and you can grate it with a small grater or you can grade bigger slices. It's, or not slices, but shreds. It's really up to you. So that's just two and a half cups of shredded cheese that I'm going to add to this and get it all mixed up. You could probably even add um some uh, green bell peppers if you wanted to add some peppers uh, seems like Cheyenne is on a kick with jalapeno peppers right now um, so you could definitely make the recipe your own by adding in whatever kind of vegetables that you that you wanted to add well you could also if you wanted to you could put this in a casserole in a casserole dish and bake it in the oven for a shorter amount of time if you just wanted uh, you know if you were going to be here in the house and you just you know wanted to fix it real quick uh, for your supper you could put it in a casserole and bake it in the oven um, and it would turn out just fine that way Okay, I think I've got it all incorporated, all mixed in there together like I want it. All right, after getting this all mixed up, I um, think that it's going to need a little bit more moisture. And so I have decided to add uh, some evaporated milk. So I'm going to add an entire can 
which is 12 fluid ounces of evap evaporated milk right in on top of this and I'll get it all mixed together. I really think it's just um, that it'll make a creamier um, product in the end and it won't be soupy at all but I really think it's going to be a little bit dry if I don't add some moisture so I'm going to add this to my recipe and uh, I think that it's going to benefit from the addition of that of that milk I really do I fixed a recipe kind of like this in the in the um, the oven at different times of the year and it does call for evaporated milk and so uh, I think uh, I think with that addition it'll be good yeah I can already see a difference in it so just remember sometimes when you're making a recipe like this and um, to be flexible and you know add ingredients that you think might work for your family take ingredients away not the important foundation ingredients but like the uh, you know the things like the onions and the peppers and the different things that your family may or may not like then also be prepared if you see that it doesn't look like it has enough moisture or that sometimes on a recipe you have to adjust it and that's okay make the recipe yours and so um, this is not originally my recipe but I'm making it my own and I have decided to go ahead and add that little bit of extra moisture and uh, I'm gonna get this I'm gonna smooth it out just like that hope you can see that like that and we'll get the top on it and uh, get it turned on to low for six hours and we'll get on with our other project well we're back in the house I've got uh, this has all come together and it's ready to go and I'm going to dish some up and uh, we'll see how it turned out. Let me see if I can tilt this. You can see that it's come together really nicely. So here's what the finished product looks like and I can tell you I've already tasted it and I added definitely needs some salt, uh, maybe a little bit of garlic and then salt and pepper it to, the, to your taste, uh, what you uh, what you enjoy and adding the can of evaporated milk was definitely something that needed uh, to be done this is uh, really come together good it's nice and creamy and I think it would have been too dry without the without the milk so I'll leave the recipe in the description below and I hope you guys enjoy remember you can make it with ham or sausage either one and um, you can leave the onions out you can add something else in like those nasty old green peas well anyway guys this is Josie with Cedar Creek Homestead I love you guys I really do and until next time try this uh, easy uh, crock pot casserole and until next time we're gone